What? Ah, the impossible task of ranking the Jokers. Why? Because whether you first saw him in a comic, the animated series, played the Arkham games, or watched him live action, we all grew up kind of loving different versions. Let's start with Cesar Romero. He was the Joker in the campy 1960s Batman starring Adam West. And while a little more family friendly, he set a precedent for portraying the Joker on screen. Yeah, he refused to shave his mustache, so there's just kind of makeup smeared over his face, but we've all seen this image. the one with the creepy smile that will be forever ingrained into my brain. And importantly, he has a good laugh. <laughs> Okay, let's go all the way to 1989 when Jack Nicholson brought the Joker to life in the Tim Burton directed version. You can call me Joker. The addition of the prosthetics make his smile really unsettling. And this is a more sadistic version of the Joker, which we're really into and we kind of see from this point forward. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? But I do have to say, I'm really aware that I'm watching Jack Nicholson on screen. I get a grin. I don't get lost in the character like I do with, say, Heath Ledger. Now I'm always smiling. Now, I'm not going full live action here because I can't talk about the Joker without bringing up Mark Hamill. All it takes is one bad day. He's voiced the Joker for decades, meaning at this point, generations of kids have stopped in their tracks to the sounds of Hamill's creepy cackle, so I'm not even knowing that it's him. If you've watched the animated series or played the Rocksteady Arkham games, you've definitely heard it. Bravo! Yeah, when I think of the most iconic Joker moments I've seen across the board, my mind goes two places. One, when I played the Arkham series. I love that Joker. Put, put him on screen in, in real life. And then, of course, when I was sitting in Star Wars Celebration just a month ago, Mark Hamill read an excerpt from The Killing Joke, and the room just died. Everyone died. Memories can be vile, repulsive little brutes. Like children, I suppose. <laughs> It's Heath Ledger's posthumous role in The Dark Knight that ranks number one. Like I said before, I get really lost in this character, and it's not just because he's covered up in clown makeup. It was everything from the voice to the mannerisms that make Heath Ledger become the Joker. I don't think any complaints can really be about his performance. I think people can complain about the character qualities that were changed for the movie. But hey, if Christopher Nolan wanted a dark, gritty version of the Joker, there's no denying that Heath Ledger did exactly that. Because it's all part of the plan. Okay, who is your favorite Joker of all time and why? You can comment below or tweet me. Opinions can't be wrong. And of course, after seeing Suicide Squad this weekend, let me know where Jared Leto fits in your ranking. <laughs>